today's adventure we're in Blue Ridge Georgia usually start up my vlogs in the middle of the downtown area to show off uh, town exploration but it's been a good minute since I've seen a big body of water so I thought we'd come by here for a minute and just enjoy the lake before we head on to town and hello my friends, Mr. Nomad then here. We're at episode two of my adventures throughout uh, Gilmer County, now Fanning County we're in right now. Then we're making our way back to Murray County to end our little three week adventure in the month of June. So last week's adventure, we were in downtown LJ to explore the little town. And then today we're going to explore a little bit of uh, Blue Ridge. I'm also a little crunched on time, but um, I'm out here at Blue Ridge for a minute. We're going to enjoy the lake for a second. We're going to grab a bite to eat at the Marina restaurant and then we'll spend a little time in the downtown area just to check it out and maybe grab a bite, grab a beer at Grumpy Old Men's Brewing Company and then we'll make our way to Chatsworth uh, to meet up with my contact to go check out his property at the old uh, Frontierlands theme park that his house is built upon so let's go sit back relax if you're new to my channel hit subscribe as doing so and here we go well usually I say and here we go. <laughs> tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Tell us all about the finer points of living in your traveling. Food, beer, history, nature quest. Every corner of the song to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. And here we are, folks. Just the drop-off point in the marina area at Lake Blue Ridge. I was actually considering renting a boat instead of exploring the downtown area, but um, they're just normal pontoon boats, and I think it'd be more fun to have friends to rent a boat with versus going by myself and the amount of money I spend, but just really enjoying this lake. I wish I could spend more time I uh, know I got Hagmill Lake not far from me in Dalton, but a beautiful day like this. And getting the look at the color of the lake. I mean, it is so blue. I, I have never seen a lake so blue before. And I'm from the Great Lakes, too. So, of course, you get blue hues out in those uh, lakes. But this is just natural body of blue. And there's shots of the marina over here, just parts of the marina. This is very beautiful. Hopefully one day we'll go, go on a boating vlog ride for you guys. All right, let's go eat, I'm hungry. All right, right ahead of me is the sales building. And then right next to it is the boat dock, bar and grill is where we're gonna have some lunch today. And here's the boat dock, bar and grill over here. Kind of looks like it has a little bit of a cheapies kind of feel to it. Greeted by a rooster when you walk in. And look at this little wood carving right here. Just gonna look at that. Not sure what that's a carving of, but if you kind of look at here, it kind of points at directions of whatever towns come ahead of you. I think I saw something of the town of Cahutta on this side. So there's the Blue Ridge, Tokoa River, the Mineral Bluff is over here. So probably, the, oh here it is, Cahutta, closest to Dalton we're gonna get in this adventure when it comes to signage. And then Mineral Bluff, place I want to go to next time. All right, let's get ourselves a table. I'm hungry. Well, I sat down at the bar area. It looks like they got the Grumpy Old Men beer on tap, which I just ordered. And this is called Grasshopper IPA. I'm going to try that in a second. And here is the menu of the Boat Dock Bar and Grill. It really does have a champy's kind of feel in here. I got to tell you what. That is really cool. It's a very simple menu you could order from. And... Got smoked trout dip, mozzarella sticks, and loaded fries for appetizers. So a, a decent selection of food you could choose from. And some salads and some sides. And I think I'm gonna go with the traditional chicken tenders. There's something about eating chicken tenders next to a body of water. Of course, fish, but not really in the mood for fish. All right, we're gonna try the Grumpy Old Men Grasshopper IPA. The blue here in Blue Ridge. So let's go ahead and try this. Mm -hmm. 
and that's a delicious IPA. Not, it's not so hoppy. It kind of reminds me of All Day IPA from Founders Brewing Company. But I think I like this a lot better. This is very delicious. And here we are, friends. The chicken tenders have arrived, and they look fantastic. I cannot wait to try it. Of course, a new cup of uh, grumpy old men with some barbecue sauce. Let's do this. All right, got the chicken tender here. Looks like it's perfectly breaded. It's not like too bready and all that, but it's like it's perfect. Go ahead and try it. A little barbecue sauce. It's the same way where we're at. Very good. Tell you what, a little more crunchy. Very, very crunchy. Very fresh, too. Oh, we, because we do that. Right? Yes, we have Old Town Scottsdale and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 This one, the food is fantastic here. Fries are perfectly seasoned. Stuff well cooked. It's not like shopping. A very, very satisfying lunch. Very delicious. Pound of that beer along with the tenders working on the water. We'll rest for a second, then we'll make our way to downtown Blue Ridge. Yeah, before we make our way on to downtown Blue Ridge, we're going to go check out whatever they got around here. Their little canoe. This is cool. This is um, a very chill place, and I found out it has nothing to do with Champies. It's a locally owned and operated mom and pop bar and grill here, right off the coast of Blue Ridge Lake. All right, let's go. Yeah, I made my way inside real quickly into the sales shop. Got yourself some bears, taxidermies, in front of some motors of all kinds. Now look at that, vintage McDonald's NASCAR 50th anniversary. All these jet skis all over the place. Got some more busts and taxidermies. And check this out, folks. Oh, look, Ronald McDonald and Big Boy. A vintage looking 7 Up vending machine. You can't beat that. Yeah, next time I'm coming around here, I would love to find a way to rent a boat or figure out how to get some friends or just bring my little family out to enjoy this beautiful lake here. I've never been to Blue Ridge Lake before and it's very beautiful here. All right, let's go down. Let's go to downtown for a few minutes. So I decided to opt out on the Grumpy Old Men Brewing Company to go to their actual location because I either had time to go get a beer there to hang out or go to downtown. So I decided to go to downtown, which I went to the free parking, which is donations are accepted here. So I want to make my way down this street here, then we'll make our way to downtown Blue Ridge to kind of take a look at what it's all about. So here's a little signage of Blue Ridge City Park area, of the fairgrounds, the church, and Mineral Springs Nature Trail, right off a of church in First Street. Everything you want to do is down this direction. Looks like we got ourselves a little skate park right over there. Haven't seen really skate parks much ever since I lived up north so if you want to do some skating and you live in Georgia or visiting Georgia that's the place to be looks like there's a Greyhound station little alternative if you don't like to fly or drive but you'd rather be enjoying the road Greyhound station right over here then over here the Ted Weaver body shop definitely looks like there's a couple of cars here and vehicles here that need some body work for sure like the tractor, the old beetle. Very nice looking playground over here if you got little ones right in front of the Fannin County Courthouse right over there. But we're gonna go make our way down Church Street to head more into the downtown area. Now walking down Church Street. Little gazebo and some train tracks over here. I think they got a Blue Ridge Scenic Railway attraction that you could go on. And a little shout out to my friend Randy that I've worked with for five and a half years. If he's watching, he used to volunteer 
at the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway trains we're about to go see in a second. And that's what it's all about. Got ourselves a little memorial right over here. A little bit of an antique mall. And jumping mouse beds. And the true mountain reality. Now this is pretty interesting. It looks like you get to uh, go on a little adventure out in the open on the train track called the Patriot Rail. I have to do a little more research based on this, but that looks like fun. Looks like you pedal actually. Now that I think about it, so everyone has to use all their man strength to go on down the train to enjoy the railway. Or if you want to sit in luxury, got a rail right over there. Engine rides check with ticket office for availability. Right over here at Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Before, I want to never done the Blue Ridge tracks before. Definitely something to look forward to for another time. If I'm ever in this direction. But right now, just kind of enjoying the little walkway by the trains. Some cabooses. All timey railways. And I know for a fact that my friend Randy will definitely have uh, insights of this kind of stuff because he once volunteered at this place. And now looking closer, that was called a rail bike. And some questions about the rail bike. Pause if you want to read. But that's what that was. What we looked at. Starts at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. But 11 miles round trip from 90 to 120 minutes. And this depends on the size of the group. That is really interesting. I know some family members will get a kick out of that. There's the gift shop and the ticket office right over here. I decided to come at a time when Blue Ridge isn't hopping and going. A lot of the shops don't necessarily open until later on. But it's just really cool to see what downtown Blue Ridge is like. You got yourself some ice cream in the Georgia Wine Depot. And some Blue Ridge Jerky. And then the Three Sisters Fudge. I saw a billboard of them on my way here. Little boutique shops and Blue Ridge Wear. And Serenity Garden Cafe. Very cool. We got ourselves a Blue Ridge escape room here. A place to hang out and play some games. And it looks like they have like a Bigfoot themed escape room. I would not want to be trapped in a room with Bigfoot. Warning, property protected by Bigfoot. Very cool. Here's everything you need to know about the Bigfoot escape rooms or any kind of escape room that you're interested in. Pause if you want to read. There's Blackbeard's Brig and Bigfoot Escape. Those of you Harry Potter fans, the Wizard School, and Space Avenger that's coming soon. Ring of the Lords. Kind of interesting is this your group has been commissioned to save middle earth in order to do that you must find the one ring and place it on the altar to be destroyed be careful you will have to avoid the gatekeeper belrog 
to get to the altar before the orc army finds you. Huh. And then I saw this sign here. I tried reading it myself. But can you read this? Let me know in the comments below if you cracked the code. I got the Chocolate Express. More fudge to go check out besides the Three Sisters. Got some more wine and beer here at the Vine Wine Bar. Everything you want to know that's right here. Oh dear bird boutique. And then what do we got here? The ore. That's the name of the place right here. We sell things that men love. Hmm. And there's the Blue Ridge Mountain Mall. And you're greeted by this really big bear. The Blue Ridge Mountain Mall welcomes you to Blue Ridge. Locally, Blue Ridge honey sold here. And you know about those bears, they love their honey. Yay! And here's the restaurant. And here's the restaurant, Harvest on Main. I almost stopped here for lunch today, but I wanted to check out the boat area. Maybe next time I'm here. Here are the hours that you need to look at in case you want to eat here, and a little QR code for the menu. Yeah, a little signage for the Swan Drive-In Theater. I have not been to this drive-in yet. I've been to the Wilderness. That's on the other side of Chattanooga, Tennessee. But maybe one day I can come out here with my wife sometime because we enjoy the drive-in theater. But it's about five minutes from downtown Blue Ridge. A little Tupelo tea shop. One of the Elvis would have consumed such a tea. Got a Fighting Town Tavern and Game Room and Bob Eatery and Hawk's General Store. Blue Ridge Olive Oil Company. And here's a shop here called Blue Ridge Knife Company. These knives are made in America, but came across the signage right here. Dogs welcome people tolerated the Kohada fishing company and a mural shop right over there and right over here by this vintage coca-cola signage this kind of reminds me of some kind of a theme park attraction it is closed off for some reason but it just goes into a void deep down underneath that building all right, over here, the Grace Prime Steakhouse, alongside with some other shops, and a pasta market and a Twisted Tomato wood-fired pizzeria and grill right over there. We kind of make our way back to our car this way. In case if there's anything I missed, is the behinds of those shops on the other side of the tracks. The Black Bear... Beer garden of food, beer, and wine. And Canterbury, another location here in Blue Ridge. A little, little sandwich shop. This looks like here a Hampton Inn right in downtown Blue Ridge. And here is the Blue Ridge Distillery. Ice cream and floats and moonshine available in this building. All from peach brandy, apple brandy, and watermelon rum. And I'm walking right by the Borough Inn Irish Pub. It's closed right now, but it'll be open later on today. Kind of gives me those old memories of my favorite Irish pub in downtown Chattanooga. You always book yourself a zipline canopy tours while you're at it here too. Deep in the heart of mountains. A Southern Charm restaurant right over here. Another place I almost consider coming by to eat. But we could come over there and at least look at the menu. 
So over here is the Southern Charm menu, all from the desserts. Chocolate raspberry lava cake, that actually looks pretty good. And the light menu from the biscuit chicken pot pie. Hand breaded chicken tenders. Your favorite kind of Cokes available. Sealed up and bottled up. And you have meatloaf and lovers. Fried green tomatoes. And look, they even got some gluten free friendly people. They even got gluten free friendly things just to let you know. So that's really awesome. And here is their hours available right here. Well, I was about to conclude the vlog, but then I realized I missed out these shops right over here because I started out filming in front of the trains and made my way down that direction. So if we look ourselves over here, see what we missed. So I can document for you guys. There's a nice little mural of the Blue Ridge Adventure Wear little shop over here. Looks like they might have some life is good kind of apparel here. At least inspired by life is good. Another boutique shop right over here. Got another boutique shop here. Check this out. Raised on Reagan. All right then. Yeah, I guess there's a little photo op for your dog to be right here. Very interesting. Like the world's smallest dog park. Four like your friends only, play at your own risk. Cats disguised as dogs are strictly prohibited. That is really awesome. And here is PJ's Rusted Buffalo. A little bit of this, a little bit of that in here. Lily and Coco, a fun little shop that's in there. Interesting. You can also make your way to the Spice and Tea Exchange, that direction. The Owl's Nest. And this building over here could take you over to the Golf and Game Stop on the second story, this direction. Over here, love dogs and cats too. A little dog and cat shop celebrating 20 years of being here in the great town of Blue Ridge. Well, here's something I didn't catch about William Clayton Fain, Georgia Unionist. So pause if you wanna read. Well, I think it's time to end the vlog. So why don't we go ahead and enjoy ourselves a cup of Mountain Mama's coffee. A little quaint little coffee shop here. A little bit of pictures, a little bit of hangout spot, especially right here. Got some merchandise right over here. Everything you could possibly need. We got some pastries right over here as well. Okay, so check this out. They offer mushroom steamers, so it's an alternative to coffee. A lot of people are switching over their coffee to enjoy some mushroom-based uh, beverages to kind of give you the illusion of coffee. Everything you want to know is right here. So I ordered myself the Banana Foster Coffee Beverage. They said this is the best iced coffee that they offer here. So let's go ahead and give this baby a try. Okay, so I think it's only appropriate to enjoy the Mountain Mama's Coffee Beverage in front of the mural right behind me. The little Mountain Mama's Banana Fosters. Cheers, my friends. Oh, wow, that's delicious. That's very good. Mm. Man, that coffee really hit the spot. I really want some coffee today. I'm glad I came here. Well, friends, that's going to end today's adventure here in downtown Blue Ridge. 
you guys enjoyed this particular adventure, make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't uh, done so already, if you're new to my channel or returning viewer. We've got one more adventure ahead of us for this little uh, mountainous little series I'm doing for the next three weeks. So tune in next week. I'll see you guys then. Eat well, keep your mind walking, and drink good coffee from Mountain Mamas. Very good. See you guys later. Yeah, very interesting. An Atlanta Braves t-shirt, but with the people from KISS on it. <laughs> I really like El Blue Ridge. I think I might spend a little weekend here with my family in the future one day. Alright folks, I'll see you guys next week.